New at 10, for the first time, the U.S. Open is coming to Wisconsin. People from all over the world will head to Aaron Hills Golf Course for the big event. Kareen Zell is in the town where they are getting ready for international attention. Aaron is already reaping the benefits of having a major golf tournament down the road. The town's four businesses are counting down the 236 days to the U.S. Open. It's been seven years in the making. Now with just nine months to go until Aaron Hills hosts the U.S. Open, it's all local businesses can think about. It is overwhelming because that much traffic on this little corner out in Booneysville, it's pretty amazing. The hair salon owner in town can't wait for June, while the owner of this barbecue spot is already seeing extra business from visiting contractors. I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen here because we're in the middle of nowhere and no one, nothing really happens out here. The U.S. Golf Association says the championship will bring in around $135 million to the area. They expect to sell 35,000 tickets a day. When you add up staff, volunteers, and media, that's about 50,000 people in and around Aaron every day during the tournament. There's a plan for the 18,000 cars expected daily. We'll try to collect as many cars as we can off of I-41, off of I-94 initially, and then be able to sh shuttle our, our guests coming to the championship. There are 14,000 hotel rooms within a 50-mile radius of the course. Another option? Home rentals. Really, that price point over the course of those seven days is probably going to be within that five to eight thousand dollar range. Right now, the hospitality team is reserving spaces like these for corporate groups. The U.S. Open is the Super Bowl of golf. It is our national championship, and it's the most coveted title in golf. Tickets are still available. We found some for fifty dollars. For tickets, information about renting out your home, and other questions, go to our website, tmj4.com, where you'll find a link. Reporting from the town of Aaron, Corinne Zell, today's TMJ4. Decision 20.